This is Sev Puri. Sev Puri. Ah, okay. We'll be making Dahi Puri. Oh, and Dahi Puri. One is Raj Kachori. Raj Kachori. Ah, okay. So this is Dahi Puri. Dahi Puri. Inside this alu. Yeah, alu. Alu. Alu and what? Potato and chana. Chana. Ah, okay. This is a type of lentil, right? Yes. Ah, okay. So it's a mixture and some herbs as well. This uh, green chutney. This is the mint one, right? Mint one, correct. Yeah. Mint and chili. Mint and chili, yeah, I know this one. And sweet chutney. There we go. That's the dahi. So it just gets filled up with that. All covered. Absolutely drowned. Wow. Oh, more is coming. Oh, you're adding masala onto sweet masala. Ah, onto the top. Okay. The salt, yeah. Chili powder. Ah. What is this one? Chaat masala. Ah, okay. Chaat masala. The save. Ah, good. For more crunchiness. Crunchiness from the puri and also from the save. Wow. Looks amazing. Wow. This. What is this? Coriander? Coriander. And beetroot? Beetroot. And the pomegranate seeds for some sweetness. Lovely. A little bit of shredded carrot. Cucumber. That's it. Amazing. Wow. Plus the safe for you. Ah, okay. Sweet chutney. Sweet chutney. So it's the same toppings for the same puri, uh, yeah, almost the same, right? These are like little crackers. Oh. Awesome, absolutely covered in the safe. And the little crackers, what are they made of? The base of this? Uh, base is made with uh... Basically maida, it is called maida. Maida? Yeah. Ah, okay. It's a wheat flour. Yeah. It's like a very refined, refined type of wheat flour. Yeah, I know this one. So this is like almost the same, just except that with a yeah, no dahi. The yogurt, no dahi, the ah, okay. Oh, wow. And this one's going to get filled up. There's so much space. And the same filling for this one as well? Yes, and along with that, it will be having the medu vada. What is this? You know that medu vada? No. Uh, it is a South Indian style vada made with uh, lentil lagin. Ah, okay, but it's soaked. Soaked, uh, soaked, yeah, in... soaked in. Yeah, it is fried and then it is soaked. It's fried and then soaked. Ah, okay. So there's a vada inside a puri and then it's getting filled up with the alu and chana. Right. Okay. And. And what is this? Ragra. Batana. Ragra. Ah, okay. Ragada. Ragada. Ah, yeah, I know this one. I had it once is. before. I had it in Mumbai, actually. I had this yes. one in Mumbai. It's very popular in Mumbai street. Wow. So this is a hot one. Yes. So we've got the cold one and then the hot one. Green chutney. Green chutney again. Wow. That looks almost like a main meal, more than a chat. <laughs> it's like... Wow. Amazing. Uh, oh, this one gets dahi as well. Oh, so this is hot and cold together. Oh, wow. Awesome. Check these out. Three amazing chats. A oh, little peanuts on top as well. Peanuts. Wow, that's so heavy. <laughs> it's like, almost like a main meal. There we go. Wow, three amazing chats. Ah, oh, you're making the vada puff. These are the vadas made from potato and chilies. And any masala in there as well? There is masala also. Ah, okay. Indian spices. That's why they're kind of get a yellowy color. Ah, turmeric is there. Ah, okay. That's a very healthy ingredient. Yes. This is the um, basin, right? Yeah. Batter made from basin, the chickpea flour. And there it goes, deep fried.
Oh, the chilies get fried as well. Even the chilies get fried. Throwing some samosas in there. All the grease drip off. There we go. That was only like two or three minutes. Good. You see your pubs. Nice big fluffy soft rolls. More green chutney. This is a favorite, right? The green chutney used in so many things. Sweet chutney. Oh. Onion. Onions. Garlic. Garlic chutney. Garlic. Garlic chutney. Ah. What up? Oh, lovely. Oh, looking forward to using some of this. Oh, the chat looks amazing. That is amazing. I uh, get yeah, the chat, the chat, the dahi puri and everything. Yeah. It looks so good. Oh, wow. That's Raj Kachori, the big one. Oh, it's all starting to melt and stuff. I better eat that one first. Wow. And then we've got, that's the sev puri and this one, the dahi puri. Brilliant. Fantastic, my friend. Thank you. Okay guys, I'm definitely going to try this one first. It's all melting and stuff, so as you've seen, he put that hot grave on it, the, the ragada, and then stuck the, the dahi puri on top. So this is something you definitely couldn't have this delivered. You definitely couldn't have this delivered through Taliba or Uber Eats. This is something you have to come here and sit down and eat straight away. And that's what I'm going to do. How do I even tackle this? This is definitely not one you, you use with your hands, right? This has to be the spoon. It just has to be. I don't even see any possible way how I could eat that with my hands. So, okay, let's just get stuck in. Oh, I can feel the bottom. The bottom is like a little bit crispy and then there's little, little soggy bits as well. There we go. I tried to get a bit of everything into one big spoonful. There's the save, the pomegranate seeds, the peanuts, the dahi, the ragada, the aloo, the puri. Everything is there. Everything is in this one spoonful. Oh wow, it's nice. The, the dairy deliciousness from the curd, the crunchiness from the save, a little bit of crunchiness from the, the puri. Some of it's like starting to get soggy and stuff. Sweetness from the pomegranates. It's nice, it's nice. Again, another spoonful with a bit of everything. Mm. I feel like actually, with those two big spoonfuls, I've eaten about a quarter of it and yeah, it feels a lot lighter than it looks. It looks like one massive ball of heavy food, but yeah, it feels like I've eaten nothing. I can demolish this really easily, I'm sure. Half of it's gone already. <laughs> Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, get in my belly. Mm. The Vadapav, guys, the Vadapav. And this is the first thing I think of when I think of Mumbai food. The first thing that comes to mind. Vada pav. And this pav, nice and soft, nice and squishy. Inside, the vada. This vada, it's not like a lentil vada, this type of vada that goes in a vada pav. That's made from aloo potatoes. Uh, it's like a patty that's made from the potatoes. And then it gets covered in a batter made from basin, which is a chickpea flour. And, and then it gets deep fried stuck in the pav, some onions, some uh, looks like maybe coriander as well. And then this one doesn't come with any dips or anything, but it, it doesn't need it. You can feel, you can just see how glistening that is. It's all, it's all nice and soft. Oh, my, oh wow. Oh. You can see there the nice big chunks of potato and not too spicy, it's just, you know, flavorful. 
extra extra flavorful without being extra extra spicy i think if you want it extra spicy they've given you these on the side for me this is perfect for me this is perfect as it is mm. so the first thing that came to my mind when the vadapav was brought to the table was like where's the chutneys to dip it in i need something to dip the bread in but you don't need anything this is just it's also all moist and look at that just <laughs> squishy and moist and lovely Mm. Uh, and I'm washing down all this deliciousness with a delicious mango smoothie not a mango smoothie a mango lassie in fact better than a mango smoothie a mango lassie and uh, yeah I'm being spoiled today aren't I I'm being bloody spoiled uh, I, I better eat these these dahi puris before the, the puri gets all soggy and everything you know uh, I think these are ones that you can probably yeah they are starting to get all soggy I should, I should have ate these already that's the thing, like I'm saying, you want to eat these straight away. Otherwise, when you pick them up, they're going to collapse, are they? No? Okay. So this should be one that you eat with your hands, I reckon. And I think it's like one puri, one bite. I mean, they're pretty big, but I'm pretty sure that's the way to do it. One puri, one bite. I think the first time I ate dahi puri, I was in the Global Village in Dubai, and I put a video up, and I was taking like half bites, and everyone was saying to me in the comments, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. So here we go. One puri, one bite. Fantastic. And again, it, it looks big. It looks like you're eating these big balls of heavy food, but they're just, once it gets to your mouth, it all just like, kind of like dissolves and down your throat and you feel like you could demolish the whole plate of them quite quickly, which is what I'm gonna do before they start, before it all starts pouring out the bottom. Mm. Cheers. 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 And this last one looks like it's already dissolved. I don't know. I think I'm going to need a spoon for this one, guys. What do you think? Uh, let's give it a go picking it up. Oh, it looks like it's about to burst. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> the dahi puris are amazing. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. And these ones, I guess, they're just going to be like the dahi puri, but without the dahi. And the only difference is they've got these little uh, crackers on the bottom, right? Yes. Made from wheat. Uh, I'll be crispy, huh? Okay, yeah, like nice like, little thick crackers. Mmm. This one's got a lot more crunchiness to it. I prefer the dahi ones, though. Like, I prefer the dahi. I'm just a big fan of dairy food and general so yeah if the difference between this and the dahi puri is mostly the curd i prefer the dahi puri this is still nice mm. okay guys let's talk prices for all this stuff that vada pav that's only five dirhams so you're talking like one pound british basically five dirhams is one pound so like one dollar thirty american money this safe puri that's coming at eight dirhams so you're talking two dollars the big Raj Kachori, uh, that's coming at 14 dirhams, so like $3.50 or something. And then the Dahi Puri, that's coming in at 9 dirhams, so about $2.50 or something like that. So uh, it's really good value food. And this area, uh, does it have the address? Yeah, Karama, this place, Mumbai Chinese food. It's in Karama, which is kind of like a local area. It's not really, there's no real tourists or anything around here. So this just caring towards kind of local Indian and people who like Indian food in the area. So yeah, I'm not getting ripped off of the prices or anything. Fantastic. Mm. Okay. Back in the kitchen, hair net back on. Frying up some chicken in a wok. And this is going to be uh, Indo Chinese food, right? This is the Indo Chinese. Yes. Indo Chinese. So this one is going to be what? Uh, garlic chicken or something? Garlic this fried rice chicken? Burnt garlic chicken rice, right? Garlic. Chili rice. Ah, so this is going to be chicken, chili, garlic, rice. Egg. Some egg. Ah, okay. First with the chicken, then get it all eggy. Oh, lovely. Oil. 
chili oil. Red chili oil. Oh, let's give it a nice colour. And there we go, the rice. Basmati rice, so this is yes, it is actually basmati type rice, but it is a little different for Chinese. Ah, okay. There we go. This is the main ingredient. The main fried onion. Fried garlic, chili. This is already fried. It is oh. already fried. Eh? It is a mixture already prepared. Ah, okay. Of onions, garlic, and chili. And chilies. Ah, okay. So they just got added in there. This is, this is the main thing which is giving that flavor. Ah, okay, of good. Chili garlic. Yeah. Spring onions. Wow, that is a massive portion. <laughs> wow. Find up the chicken and then slap it on top of some noodles. Onions, carrots, capsicum. Oh. This looks like a healthy one. A lot of veggie going in here. Cabbage. Cabbage, oh wow. And we've got the chicken and the noodles again. We can mix back in. Oh, just one sauce. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. <coughs> More spring onions. Oh, wow. He will prepare Ramza oven, which is the main, most fast moving product. Celery, garlic, ginger. ginger. Okay, chilies. Onion, capsicum. Onion and capsicum. Ah. Oh. Chicken Let's chicken stock. Ah, okay. Szechuan sauce. Tomato ketchup, ah, okay. Chili paste. Chili paste. Coriander. Coriander. And spring onions. Spring onions, wow. Corn flour. Corn flour. Ah, corn flour, ah, okay. And here we go, the chicken. Wow. So these are already partially cooked, right? They're already cooked, yes. In the fried. tandoor or? No, in fried. Oh, they've been fried, ah, okay. And they're just, wow, they just soaked up all the gravy. Wow. Wow. This is the best salad. Yeah, it smells amazing. Check these out, guys. These are the blocks of paneer. Ah, okay, so paneer is like cottage cheese. So, he's just tossed them up as if they were chicken or something, but instead it's paneer, so it's just like a, a veg dish, a vegetarian friendly dish. Lovely. Okay guys, well obviously I'm not going to finish all this food right here, right now, but the owner was keen that I tried a bunch of his specialities from his menu, so who am I to 
refuse. Obviously, anything I don't eat, they'll just package up and then I can take home and microwave. So, what should I start with first? Oh, that smells amazing. The garlicky chicken rice. Let's get a, should it be a forkful or should it be a spoonful? I don't know, or should it be a fork and spoonful? I think that's how they do it. In places like China, it's fork and spoon, isn't it? Mmm. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I got a, med a metal spoon and, and fork. Even easier for me. Okay. Making my life easier. So, this garlic fried rice, they've got the seasoning just right with it. Just right. It's not overpowering, but it is very, very flavorful. And uh, yeah, the, the chicken is really tender on this one. Let me see if I can find a little chunk of the chicken here. It's like the texture of it is almost like you're eating cod or something. The texture of it is just so soft and lovely. Mmm. Mm. And these little fried onions, I don't know if you can see them, little fried onions that are through that, they're just like, add a little bit of crispiness to it, a little bit of texture and a little bit of extra flavour when you bite into them as well. Mm. Nice. Okay, I'm keen to try these noodles. This looked like a nice healthy one, it added a ton of vegetables to that, some big chunky onions, there were some capsicum peppers, there was all sorts going on. Let's have a look. How do I eat this? This is definitely not with the hands. Noodles, is it? But uh, I think like spaghetti, right? Like spaghetti, twirl it around your fork. This is how the Italians do it. And this is how Dale does Indo-Chinese food. Mm. Oh, wow extremely spicy extremely spicy wow this is this indo chinese food is more spicy than the indian food that i've tried so far oh wow i added a ton of that red chili paste to it didn't he and there was a shit shish how do you pronounce that shish one shish one sauce as well oh yeah and there was like green chilies as well there were all sorts of hotness a little bit too hot for me Yeah, I'm, I don't handle spice too. In fact, I can feel myself sweating. I have just been in the kitchen where they've been cooking it up over like naked flames and stuff. So it was already hot, but that second mouthful literally just made me start sweating. Oh, wow. I can handle it. I can handle it just about, but this box of tissues is necessary to be here. There we go. Carefully balanced. Now everything, everything is on this fork. Mm. Mm. I feel like I'm eating something healthy, you know, with all these vegetables and stuff in it. But I also feel like I'm eating something that's burning my bloody mouth right now. So I'm going to put this one to the side for now and try. I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure these other ones, these drums of heaven and all that, they were made the same way, right? With the, the red chili paste and the, the Szechuan sauce. I think I said it correctly that time. Uh, I think everything is going to be spicy, but let's try this one now. The, the drums of heaven. The speciality, he said this is the most popular one. This is the one that people keep coming back for in this in this restaurant, the Drums of Heaven. It looks like this one. I have to use the hand for this one, right? I have to use the hand. There's no way to eat chicken on the bone with a knife and fork. He did give me a knife as well. I think it's the first time I've been given a knife in an Indian restaurant ever in my life. <laughs> but I'm not going to use it. I think this has to be the hand. Uh, so these are like lollipop chickens, basically. You know, like the little, the little bones sticking out just for you to pick up. So... You can be eating anything called lollipop, anything, using a knife and fork. That would be outrageous, wouldn't it? Okay. Oh, wow. I think it's even more spicy than noodles, but there's like a tomato in this there. I think there was like some ketchup was in it as well, right? It's just, oh my God. And then the, I think, I think it's like, Tikka, tikka marinated chicken as well. So there's just all sorts of strong, strong flavors going on in this. Mmm. Oh, wow. And the skin is all crispy and everything. It's delicious. I think I'm starting to handle the spice now, guys. I don't, I don't think I'm sweating, right? Uh, I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> 
guys, this is this is food for spicy lovers. Guys like Mark Weens or somebody, he would be in heaven right here. Me, I feel like I'm in fiery hell a little bit, although it is so flavorful and tasty that, you know, I prepare to battle through, battle through the spiciness. Look at the size of this piece. That's an absolute chunk of a chicken lollipop. Where do I even bite it from here, I think? Mmm. Mm. It's, this, it's the crispy skin as well, guys. It's the crispy skin. It's everything. It's the, the marinated chicken, the, the sweet, the sweet sauce. It's a spicy sauce, but it's sweet as well. And then the crispy skin. Mm. It's a messy food, guys. It's a messy food. There's no real way to eat this other than get yourself in a mess. This is probably not the type of food you want to bring a date on. You don't want to come here with a girl and eat this type of food, getting yourself all messy. And any girls, if you are watching, no, I don't normally get this messy when I eat food. Yeah, you can come and eat with me. I will be nice and polite and not make a mess or anything. Seriously, yeah, really. Mm. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm still alive and I still have space in my belly. I should try this paneer one, the vegetarian one. So I think it was kind of like similar to the Drums of Heaven one. It just, oh, oh yeah, can I have a Fanta, please? Oh, fantastic. More, more cool beverage to, oh. My mouth is very hot right now. This is, this is useful. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. So this paneer dish here, I think he just made it with the same kind of sauce that he put these uh, chicken drumsticks in, except uh, it's paneer, these blocks of cottage cheese. And this is a very popular thing in Indian cuisine. They have paneer. We don't normally eat, we eat cottage cheese, obviously in the West, in Scotland we eat cottage cheese, but it would just be like something you, you'd put on a cracker or something like that. In India, they actually make, you know, full main meals of cottage cheese, of paneer. And it's usually a meat substitute. So that's what it is here, it's a meat substitute and it's these big thick blocks, so. Mm. It's nice, nice and smooth. And yeah, it doesn't feel as spicy as, uh, as this one. This one's more red. In fact, I pro I'm pretty sure he didn't add the, the red chili paste into this, did he? Yeah, this one actually, out of all these, are the one that I can handle the easiest. Although that piece was a bit dry. This one, I'm getting all sauced up. Am I supposed to be eating this with my, my hands? I don't know, I'm going full Indian style now, guys. Probably this is like the, the, the fork and spoon as well, but. Mmm. Right, I should talk prices for all this because everyone's always interested in how much things cost. Hang on, I'll get the menu again. Right, so the noodles and the rice, they're like 16 dirhams each, so about $4. And these drums right here, these are 19 dirhams. So that's like $5.50 or something like that for, I think that you got like eight big portions of uh, chicken drumsticks there. And this one, the paneer, also 19 dirhams. So the same price as the chicken. Not too bad, not too bad. Mm. All right, guys. Definitely not going to finish all this. No man versus food challenge today. It's way too much, but I'm going to get the staff to package it up for me and all this will be good later, won't it? Supper time and breakfast time tomorrow. Then it'll be finished. By breakfast tomorrow, it'll be finished. Mm. Food won't be wasted, but some tissues, they got wasted today. I'm going to need a few more as well. It's so messy, it's so sweaty. Oh, brother. Can, can you like uh, package this for me? I will, I will take away. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to waste it. So you can package everything up for me here. Yeah. Fantastic. This will all be good later, right? I can just microwave this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You can microwave and it will be. Fantastic. Okay, this is going to be supper and breakfast for me. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, lovely.